Happy New Year guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel and for the today's video we will create a simple navigation deep link in which we are passing an ID and open a simple screen our application. So let me show you the application as I said it is very easy and you have the base URL, the product and the product ID. Let's run the test and this will open the product page that has the ID 321. With that all said, let's jump into Android Studio and let's see how we can implement that. Okay, so now let's see what dependencies do we need. So let's go into libsversions.toml and we need the Kotlin Exterialization JSON and the Android, Android Navigation Compose. And these are the versions. So Navigation Compose has 2.8.5 and the serialization has 1.7.3. And also we have the Kotlin Exterialization plugin. So let's jump into buildagrader.kts from the app module and make sure to add the plugin here and the two dependencies in the dependencies block. Now let's jump into main activity and let's start by creating the nav controller. So let's say vol nav controller equal to remember nav controller. And let's create the nav host. So let's say nav controller it is equal to nav controller and the start destination and now we need to create two routes so the first one will be a data object and this is the home screen and let's annotate this with serializable because otherwise it won't work and one more screen that it's also annotated with serializable and this is a data class because it will receive a parameter and let's say we want a screen for products and we want to create a deep link for a specific product and this will have the id with an integer now let's add the start destination here and the start destination is the home screen let's open the curly brackets and let's start with the first screen which is the home screen so let's say composable home and here we will simply have a box that will fill the whole screen and will um, center the content and the content is a simple text that says that says home Now, in order to make a deep link, we need to use the app links assistant to make that easier. So you can go in tools and in the app links assistant. And now we need to create an app link. So the first step is to open the URL mapping editor. And here we need to click on the plus button and make sure that you add your base URL here. And for me is adcoding.com and hit OK. And as you can see, let's open the Android manifest.xml. This added this intent filter and we can collapse the apps links assistant and go back to the main activity. And now we need to bind a deep link to the composable that we created before. So let's open the parentheses and inside we need to create the deep link. So let's say deep links and this is equal with a list of nav deep link of product. And now we need to enter the base path. And for me, it was the adcoding.com and I can add slash product. And now let's run the application first. So as it is right now, the navigation deep link won't open the application because we need to verify that the provided base URL, like in my case, adcoding.com is a real URL that I own. And to do that, I will link an article in which you can see how you can do that. So declare website associations and you have all the required things in the documentation. 
but for now we can collapse the application and go to app info and open by default add link and put your base url now we can go back to app links assistant and click on create app link and select the test app links and we can say the product slash three to one and we can run a test and as you can see the deep link worked and the product id is three to one if you found this video helpful make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this and if you want to support the channel make sure to hit the join button and choose whatever membership you like and i want to thanks to pt because you are the first member of this channel and i want to wish you all a happy new year again and see you in the next video